Welcome to St. Lucia. More specifically, Sofrif, a small French named town on the coast. It's a hot, steamy, rainy day. Hopefully the weather improves. Thank luck's on our side. I'm here to check off another island on the Lesser Antilles. This island has been sought after by the British and French over history where the British eventually won out, brought it into the Commonwealth. And not until actually recently in history did St. Lucia gain their independence, become a sovereign country in 1979. But we're not really here for the history. I am here for the Pitons, which I'll get some amazing shots of later, but they are dormant volcanoes that shape this island. I'm here for that. I'm here to hike them. I'm here to go into the interior of the island and explore the rainforest and more trails. So tag along, as hopefully I can find some friends along the way, hike the Pitons, hike the interior of the island, and see what else I can discover. So apparently you need a guide in order to hike. I wasn't sure, but we're discussing right now whether or not I can go on my own. Fingers crossed. So for, for Gross Baton, it is 50 US and for Petit Patan, or Petit Patan, it is 150 to 250 US, which I don't know if I can justify that. It looks pretty awesome. I think I'll get a very similar experience by Gris Patan hiking that. So I think we'll just do one today. We're going in the peeling paper tree. Peeling paper tree? <laughs> Yep. Huh. <laughs> well, on the second half now, almost, apparently gets a little bit more strenuous with a scramble. Definitely a little out of breath from it already. Well, I doubt this will take four hours to complete round trip. We're going at a pretty good pace, so probably give it about three. The rocks are really well placed though, so getting good footing is not an issue. It's just, it's just exerting. It's like a very steep staircase. And we just got going again from our, our first uh, stop. I'm not sure we'd call it like a sit squat or something, but there was a guy there, they call him the lifesaver, simply because he's running up the mountain, Gatorade, beer, water, fat blunt, anything to save your life up here. All right, starting to see a lot more blue from much higher up. Got a view of Petit Patan over there too. I think we're finally getting into the uh, the steep stuff here. Definitely out of breath at this point. I'm mean, no exaggeration. That's probably around 45 degree uphill. Good thing is at least we have steps to work with. So let's get it all the way to the top. Probably lied. This it's got to be more than 45 degree. I know the camera's not going to do it justice, but yeah, they weren't lying about the taxation. We've definitely passed a lot of people on the way up, but saw even more coming down. If I had to gander, I'd say we're pretty close to the top. 
made it. Make sure I got my footing here. It is steep on the edge. There we have it. From the top of Grossman. I have a feeling going back down is going to be just as treacherous. And I'm without a water bottle now. Someone snagged it when I was at the top. Well. <laughs> she, uh, she left her shoes on the trail to make it to the top. <laughs> I know who it was too. That's funny. Just leave them right there. Whew. What a hike. Finally making it back to the car. I think total time was just under three hours and that's you know a little pit stops and breaks included but good hike view could be better it's facing the south so you get to see the airport uh, but halfway up you do have a view of the uh, petit Paton as well so that makes up for it for sure but try to head out i'm starving i didn't have water on the way back down i did meet a very nice uh french couple though we exchanged contact information so i might be uh, giving them some rides around the island since they don't have a car but um, yeah, a lot of friendly people on the trail talking to them about their, their time here. Got a few suggestions as well. So we'll go see how those pan out. Oh, water never tasted so good. Beer never tasted so good. All right, I got <clears throat> Bangameti. It's a freshwater fish from Guyana. It's delicious, by the way. Got a little nourishment back and we're on the second hike now. One thing I learned though is you can negotiate for any price or what you want to get. They want to charge you for like either a fee to get in or to have a guide with you. But if you just go in and maybe buy lunch or something, you can normally get them to forego the fee. But I'm excited about this one. Uh, instead of hiking on the Patons this time, we're going to be looking at them. So let's see what the view looks like. talk about how incredible these look the batons definitely worth coming to st lucia just to see these all right we're at the sulfur springs where it smells like farts and they got mud baths Let's go. Well, it definitely smells a little bit, but the uh, black water is sulfur water. It's a really hot temperature, so it feels good, especially after hiking. Chill out for a little bit, maybe get a little mud. And here's a plaque for the PMA. Piton's management area. So they made the UNESCO World Heritage list in 2004. Then they actually signed a charter right here in Soufre, where I'm staying. I believe it was in 
we had to jump the fence or the trail. Caution something with my Frenchie friends. <laughs> End of trail here, yet there's more trail. We press on. We found our first one. Yeah. We found them. Looking right at us. Manual, you almost stepped on it, man. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't afraid at all. <laughs> Less talk and more walk, so we don't step on a snake. All right, first trail was a bust. What was it? What was it called? How do you pronounce it? Uh, Bar de Lille. Bar de Lille. Something like that. All right, on to the next one. To know spare tire in here oh we saw one one of the hazards got a snake oh just, just, just got it, it. <laughs> all right hike number two it's on floor the pressure's on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work at all. I didn't expect the sun. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get in the thick of it now. Some Jurassic Park stuff right here. Made it to the tower. Less difficult than the uh, Gros Vuitton, yeah? Definitely. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get up on the roof somewhere. Woo. Windy. Amazing view though. All right. Much better than the last trail, that's for sure. So, just got done dropping off Manuel and Diane from our two hikes that we did, which were pretty good. The second one was definitely a great hike to do. Uh, but yeah, I just made my way over to Jade Mountain Resort, which is one of, if not the nicest resort on the island. So I wanna check out the dinner menu, see if I can get a reservation for that, but more importantly, there are probably the best views of the pitons from this location. So I wanna see if I can maybe get to one of the infinity pools or something like that and uh, get a few good shots in. Last day here in St. Lucia, here in Sofria, uh, I forgot to do a walk around of the Airbnb. So let's do that real quick. All right, first up is the living room with the TV. Definitely came in handy for Netflix on the last day since it rained for the majority. We got the kitchen. Apologize the receipt in water bottle graveyard there. And then down the hall here, we have two rooms on the end and a bathroom right here. Well, way more space in here than what I needed out of an Airbnb, but I'll take it, number one, for the price, and number two, for the proximity to the patons. Um, if I were to do it all again, come back to St. Lucia, I don't think I'd change it up. 
I'd still come right back to Sofrich. I'd rent a car, give you the freedom to drive around the island wherever you want to go and do what you want to do. Timeline wise as well, I think I could have got away with four days instead of five for this trip. Uh, just knowing my style of travel, it's especially around like the Lesser Antilles, I was able to knock out Gros Baton, uh, Flor Piton, a few other nature trails. I drove up to the north twice uh, to Castries and Groselet. I did Fish Friday, and I know there's other things, the Sulphur Spring along the way as well, and meeting up with other people. So I think four days was more than enough time to get everything done uh, for what I wanted to see here. But yeah, overall, St. Lucia, amazing island, another rainforest tropical island that I love exploring the interior of, doing all the nature trails here. Uh, the batons alone make it worth coming here for. Um, and since I also have one left, Petit Baton, I'll probably be back at some point. But until then, let's see what's up next on the Lesser Antilles list. We still have a few sovereign countries to get through. So see you then.